Hi, this is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and I'm going to try to demonstrate a um, trade here. Uh, I've got a buy order right here, and it's bounced off my order, but I didn't get filled. And I don't know if I'm going to miss this trade or not. But let me show you what I'm looking at. We had a trend line break, a couple of legs down to a new low, um, and now we've broke it to an even newer low. If you look across here, we've got a lot of support across here. This has been kind of support all across here. So I'm looking for a bounce back to the EMA, and I'm also looking at, um, let me just show you here. I'm looking at this leg down, and if you measure that and then move it over here, then you get another leg down. And, of course, you want to be a tick in front of where you're, target is because you got to get filled generally on a limit order. It's very rarely that you'll just touch a limit order and get filled on it. You usually need to tick through that order. Every now and then you'll get filled. So that's what I'm looking at and I don't know if I've missed this trade or not but irregardless I got my order there and it did bounce off of it and um, I'm hoping that I'll get filled and we'll come back but um, I don't know if that's going to happen or not so we're just going to watch it and see and we'll go from there but um, hopefully that makes sense why I'm looking to buy here it's been a strong support area across here uh, we've got one leg down so this will be a second leg so this was a second entry long that just triggered right here after two legs down to a new low right here and you can see that prices immediately failed when they broke uh, lower and my guess is we're going to come back up here and I, I'm assuming I missed this trade but we'll yeah, it's unfortunate, but that's, you know, sometimes you miss it by a tick and sometimes you don't. But you see here, it, it bounced off my order and I just couldn't get filled. So there's always a chance it'll come back one more time and create a double bottom. I just want to put my line on here again and just... So I was really looking for prices to come down to here or here. So we may get another shot at this. I'm going to leave my order there and see what happens. We are coming back again here. So we'll see what happens. But we had a little trend line down through here uh, on the overnight. Even if you drew it here, you still got your break and your two legs lower, but um, I believe this was more of the trend line, and we had our break and a couple of legs down. And if this is one leg and we're going to get another measured leg, prices could be going all the way to here. And it might even be... But I'm going off of this measured leg because it's the more recent price action. And so I'm looking for prices to go to about right here maybe. We've got some congestion here. So now if prices, if we break out of that, uh, maybe we'll bounce back again. And we're still away from the EMA. So still reasons to like this trade. It may go a little bit lower, but I'm willing to give it um, a little room to see if we can get a nice scalp out of this so we'll see what happens I'm going to continue to watch it and I may pause it here just a second and pick it back up I'm going to pause it and uh, I'll pick it back up here and well here we go we're moving lower again just hold off a second You can see we're getting some strong support here. Prices are really struggling. Okay, we're bouncing off more. Okay, we're filled. All right, let's see if we can't get a bounce back here now. See, I got a hard two-point stop here. We're just going to try to scalp out on one point on eight of our contracts. That'll give us a $400 profit. 
and then we'll go for a couple of points maybe more on the other we'll see how we come out of here and you see we're getting a nice reversal here and we're already bouncing off my order my exit order come on a little higher and of course that's resistance now and that's why that bounce you know there were people sitting there ready to sell that immediately We really only needed one more tick from the last high there. Because uh, again, we're trying to exit on a limit order, so we need for prices to tick through that level to more than likely to exit. There's what was acting as support along there is now giving us resistance, and that's the way the market works. And if we don't get through here, then then this will probably become resistance. Well, I really would have liked to get out on that first bounce because you can see how quickly that bounced. And, I mean, we were, it was banging off our exit order in just a blink. And generally you like to get filled on those, and we didn't. And now we're trying to make another push down. But I still like this support area here. We'll see if it'll give us one more shot at it. And I'm going to hold some runners here because if this turns out to be the low of the day, then we might make some really good money on our runners. But our, our main concern now is just to scalp out of this trade. And if we do get runners, that'll just be gravy. It's gotten really slow here all of a sudden. All right, buyers, I need you here. And I do like to talk to my trades as I'm trading. <laughs> so if you hear me chatting away over here, I'm just talking to my talking to myself and my trade. And I'm bad about doing that. Some of my trading partners around here laugh at me because I talk to my trades quite a bit. I try to coax them along. All right, we're bouncing off our exit order again. Come on. One more tick. That's some stout resistance right there. Of course, that was the previous support right there, and that's why we're getting some resistance there, because now it's resistance. It's really struggling to go higher, though. I'm expecting that we'll at least break higher there and touch, try to touch that EMA there, but sometimes that doesn't happen. And now that we got all this congestion, 
it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing if you know you just decided to go ahead and take what you can get here and get two or three ticks out of this and be done but um, but I still like this to the upside so I'm gonna give it another couple of seconds here and see what happens before I close it All right, here we go. We're bouncing off our exit order again. Come on. We've hit that thing a bunch of times now. We just need one tick through there. And this bar is about to complete. You see there's 50, less than 50 ticks left yet. The bears and the bulls are battling it out right here. And that bar did close on its high. So it's nice and bullish looking so if we can get there we go all right now we're at break even it actually I had this one set for break even plus one so we got four hundred dollars in the bank and so the worst we can do is make four hundred dollars here and if it continues to go higher and if you wanted you could give this some more room here you could give it break even or maybe give it a tick or two but I'm gonna leave it at break even plus one and I'm gonna try to go for two points on the runners if we can go higher from here <coughs> so we'll see what happens the worst that we can do is make um, one tick on these last two contracts and here it comes just trying to back up so the worst we can do is to make two ticks on this last contract and uh, we've already got four hundred dollars in the bank off of our sc scout portion so the worst we can do on this trade is to make $450. And if it'll go higher, we can make even more. So we'll just let it play out. I'm just going to let the market dictate what happens from here. It'll either come back and stop me out at break even plus one tick, or it'll go higher and it'll take out my two point profit target and we'll make another four points here but again hopefully you can see why I like that trade right there let me just show you again uh, we had all this support across here and you can see that right there this has been support all the way across here all the way across that area you see there for several days so um, even if prices go lower you still expect a bounce there and um, in addition to that we had some other things that I liked we had the trend line break two legs down to a new low and then we had two legs right there so I was looking at two legs and then the failed break lower and that's generally a good reversal type setup so that's why I'm holding these runners here if I didn't like this for a possible reversal area I would have probably just scalped out in full and or I'd go ahead and take what it's giving me now and be done with it but I still like the fact that we may go higher here and you could tighten your stop now I could tighten it to one tick below these bars um, in case we turn back down and lock in a couple more ticks or whatever but if you get your stop too tight you risk the other problem of getting stopped out you know just basically on noise alone when prices are still going in your direction and let's do this just to give ourselves some ideas we got a little trend line right here we're below that right now if it closes here so I'm tempted just to go ahead and take me a couple of more ticks here but then I mean that's the danger of getting you know going ahead and taking your profit is then you then it turns and goes straight where you expect it to but it wouldn't surprise me if we don't try to work lower and work on some more of these uh, stops down here below these previous lows so we're just right on the edge of those previous lows across there and um, they may continue to try to work it 
work it lower here. Yeah, it's looking like we may get stopped out of this one. But maybe we'll get a trap there and go higher. That's why I usually like to give it uh, more than a tick. If you just move that one tick below there, what will happen a lot of times is it will just tick down there and take all the stops and then go straight back up where you expected it to. So I usually give it more than one tick below whatever, like on your signal bar, I may just, I may put it two ticks below my signal bar just to make sure. It just depends on the overall pattern and what's going on with the overall price action. But this is looking like a possible breakout pullback long. We'll just see what happens. And I may not play this whole trade out, but um, hopefully you're getting the gist of how I've handled this and um, what I'm doing. And if I've got my trend line right, we broke below it and we came back and tested it. And now we're trying to turn down again. So that might be a good enough reason just to go ahead and close this trade. I really am hoping we're going to come back and test this high, maybe even this high. And I don't want this trade to get too long either, so we're already into 17 minutes. So I'd like to keep the videos under 20 minutes. All right, here we go. Now we'll tighten this up. All right, buyers, let's drive this up. Adjust my trend line just a little there. Just to, that's more of a 45 degree angle. That other one was a little steep, but it sure seemed to be holding. Now we could have a failed break higher here, so it wouldn't surprise me at all to get a pullback first, even if we are going higher, because that's generally just how prices work whenever you break above. Um, but now you see the reformer support that was acting as resistance is trying to act as support again. If it ticks back one more tick, we're going to get stopped out of this. And I'm going to take, uh, actually, we could go ahead and get our point if we just pull it up. Because this is in the, I think what I'm going to do is, I know I'm going to get taken out if I do that. I'm going to go ahead and take it. All right, and there you go. So we basically made... Uh, 10 points there, $500, and uh, and I rushed this trade because it, I didn't want this video to go too long, and uh, I probably would have continued to hold my stop down here below this bar just to see if we get a trap here and then go higher. Um, but this is not coming out of there quickly. This is not rejection of prices. This is more of acceptance, so that's not a good sign. doesn't mean that we're not still going to go higher, but what you want to see is prices to come down in here like this right here and immediately reverse and quickly work higher. That's more rejection. And let me just see if I can see another. And you see this was rejection. Prices broke down in here and immediately reversed and boom. That's that's a form of rejection. Um, again here it broke down here and quickly and then shot higher. You really like to see it. Uh, this is rejection of price. See how prices came up in here and then boom, they got rejected and sent down. But once you start to see a lot of overlap, um, that's kind of acceptance of prices. And we want to see prices just get totally rejected. 
and you can see we would have given back our other tick there so but anyway that was a nice trade example of how I buy um, support and resistance um, and how I do it blindly just putting my order down there figuring out where the moves are, are and the bounces are likely to be and you know I hate to I almost hate to demonstrate those because too many people start trying to do that because it looks relatively easy when you see somebody that can read the price action do it um, but if you don't know what you're doing you can lose very quickly so just make sure if you're attempting that that you are using uh, hard stops no more than a couple of points because uh, sometimes it'll break through and just take off and it even happens to me like right here if you'd have had you know it bounced once a couple of twice and then if you'd expected it to bounce again right here it would have shot straight on through and it did come back this time which usually it will but sometimes it don't come back and next thing you know if you don't have your stop in there you're down five or six seven eight points and you know if you're mostly scalping it's hard to make that back and now it looks like we're going to try to go higher again here uh, but anyway that was a nice trade example of how I do it how I buy support and um, I wish it would have uh, we would have caught a nice reversal here and I could have showed you how I manage my runners as well but we're well we're over 20 minutes now so I'm gonna wrap this up this will probably serve as our chart lesson today unless I get um, I still need to make a couple more trades here today to make my goal and uh, so I'm gonna uh, unless I get done really early, this will probably be our chart lesson for today as well. So this is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and uh, we'll see you next time.